So a fatty is the barbecue world's version of a meatloaf, a smoked meatloaf. You add some slow roasting, some smoke and some spices, and even just a simple chub of sausage or a pound of beef is taken to way new heights. This is actually a Greek fatty. It's inspired by the flavors of a classic hero. My very first job was in a Greek deli, so I love these flavors. Definitely reminds me of that time and all the great lamb, cucumber, onion flavors of a gyro. This recipe is actually in my brand new cookbook, the Complete Electric Smoker Cookbook. It just, fatties work great in electric smokers, and this is just one of the many recipes in there. Grab it now. The link to the book is in the description of this video and also at barbecuetricks.com. So here's all the ingredients here. Some basic stuff. You got, of course, I mentioned the lamb and the beef and the breadcrumbs, but you also have a lot of garlic, eggs, sesame seeds, oregano, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, and the, the, a lot of garlic in here. I love using this garlic press to really get the uh, garlic cloves all minced up. Again, there's a lot of garlic. The trick to a fatty is how do you roll this thing up and make it not be a mess? So I actually always try to incorporate a big pan, either a baking sheet of some sort with rims and some parchment paper spread it all out as evenly as you can by hand first on top of a layer of parchment paper, then add a second layer of parchment paper on top and smooth it out that way. As far as adding the cucumber, the uh, red onions, and the tomato, you want to try and get that as dry as you can. In this case, we're going to kind of scoop out the seeds of the cucumbers and dry them as much as possible in a paper towel, as well as dry the uh, cucumbers for the tzatziki mix as well to keep the liquid down on that. Just chop it up and you're going to try and make it roll up as easily as possible in the meat. So it's really beautiful to look at. Just layer the things on top of the meat in whatever order you want. Leave a little room on the edges because you're going to want to seal it up afterwards and actually make a loaf. And then you may even want to chill this whole sheet of meat and veggies before you try and roll it up, just to give it some, some stiffer consistency when it's chilled, it'll be a lot easier to roll up. This is where you'll really find the parchment paper helps a ton keeping it in place. You can use plastic wrap as well. Just give it a little bit of time and you can seal the little holes as you go and try and keep track of where the seam is on the meat. Here it's on the bottom, but uh, that's it tuck in the sides and you're ready to put it into the smoker. All right, so the wood chips go in. And this is going to be going uh, on the smoker. This is the seam that we rolled it up with. Seam side down for two hours at 225, low and slow. Ooh, filling up the cooker. I'm using a Charbroil Digital Electric Smoker. I actually did an unboxing a few weeks ago. I really love that smoker. Just really simple and easy to use. And uh, here's another, the recipe for all this stuff is in the Complete Electric Smoker cookbook I just put out. But the tzatziki sauces, I just love the flavors in this. Uh, cucumber, we've actually tried to dry it out as much as possible. You got the juice of one lemon, three cloves of garlic, a lot of garlic, uh, chopped fresh dill really makes it taste great. A cup of plain yogurt, try to use a Greek plain yogurt, uh, salt, and some black pepper as well. If you want, you may even want to try and drain some of the liquid off of this blended mixture before you mix it up with the yogurt. But either way, it ends up really good. So after smoking that fatty about two hours, the meat's going to look pretty much like this. Internal temperature, you're going to want it to hit 145 degrees, and then you can just carve it up. You can actually serve this as a gyro, slice it up, serve it with some pita wedges and that tzatziki sauce. It's really good. Look at the great smoke ring too. That's the beautiful thing about an electric smoker. You get the smoke ring just right on fatties like this. My big fat Greek fatty. This recipe is actually in my new uh, cookbook, the Complete Electric Smoker Cookbook. One of my favorites there and you can get it now. The link is going to be in the description here at the bottom of the video or at barbecuetricks.com. In fact, if you go to the website, there may be a special pre-order 
deal with some extras that you should check out. For more tips, tricks, other fun stuff, www.barbecuetricks.com.